ਫਿਰ ਲੈ ਕੇ ਜਾਂਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਵੇ ਦਰਿਆ ਤਾਂ ਵੀ ਤੇ ਗਏ ਆ ਪਛਤੀ ਚ ਜਾ ਕੇ ਧਰੀ ਆ ਜਾ ਕੇ ਮੰਜੀ ਉੱਥੇ ਜਾ ਕੇ ਉਹਨੂੰ ਬਹੁਤੀ ਤਕਲੀਫ ਹੋ ਗਈ ਆ ਉਹਨੇ ਇਸ਼ਾਰਾ ਕੀਤਾ ਵੇ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਫੇਰ ਬਾਹਰ ਲੈ ਚਲੋ ਬਾਹਰ ਲਿਆਂਦੀ ਆ ਮੋੜ ਗੱਡੀ ਚ ਧਰੀ ਆ ਉੱਥੇ ਅੱਲਾ ਨੇ ਕੀਤਾ ਤੇ ਬਚਾ ਹੋ ਪਿਆ ਫੇਰ ਅਸੀਂ ਵਾਪਸੀ ਲੈਂਦੀ ਆ ਵਾਪਸੀ ਆਉਂਦੇ ਆਂ ਬਸ ਉਹ ਜਾਲਾ ਠੀਕ ਨਹੀਂ ਰਹੀ ਆ ਫੇਰ ਦੌਰਾ ਪੈ ਗਿਆ ਉਹਨੂੰ ਦੌਰਾ ਪਿਆ ਤੇ ਬਸ ਖਤਮ ਹੋ ਗਈ ਆ ਇੱਕ ਕਿਸਮ ਦੀ ਇੱਥੇ ਹੀ ਖਤਮ ਹੋ ਗਈ ਆ ਫੇਰ ਵਾਪਸੀ ਖੜੀ ਆ ਮੋੜ ਗੱਡੀ ਕਰਾਈ ਮੋੜ ਲੈ ਕੇ ਗਏ ਆ ਫੇਰ ਆਫਟ ਤੋਂ ਨੰਗਾਈ ਆ ਗੱਡੀ ਫੇਰ ਹੁਣ ਜਾਂਦੇ ਆ ਫੇਰ ਗੱਡੀ ਲੰਘ ਗਈ ਆ ਉੱਥੇ ਗਏ ਆ ਮਿਸ਼ਨ ਹਸਪਤਾਲ ਉੱਥੇ ਜਾ ਕੇ ਦੱਸੀ ਆ ਤੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਆਖਿਆ ਹੀ ਖਤਮ ਹੋ ਗਈ ਜੀ ਹੁਣ ਮਾਰ ਕੇ ਲੈਂਦੀ ਜੇ ਇੱਥੇ ਐ ਗੱਲ ਹੋਈ ਆ ਫੇਰ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਬੱਚਾ ਹੀ ਨਾ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਉਹਦਾ ਉੱਥੇ ਦਾਖਲ ਕਰ ਲਿਆ ਸ਼ੀਸ਼ੇ ਚ ਲਾ ਲਿਆ ਚਾਰ ਦਿਨ ਉਹ ਵੀਰ ਲੱਗਾ ਰਿਹਾ ਵਿਚਾਰਾ ਹਾਏ ਅੱਲਾ ਤੇ ਫੇਰ ਉਹ ਚੌਥੇ ਦਿਨ ਉਹ ਵੀ ਫੋਟ ਹੋ ਗਿਆ ਮੇਰੇ ਜਈ ਮੇਰੀ ਧੀ ਜਈ ਤੇ ਕਿਸੇ ਨਾਲ ਨਾ ਵੇ ਮੈਂ ਨਹੀਂ ਮੇਰੀ ਧੀ ਟਾਈਮ ਨਾਲ ਕਿ ਜੇ ਹਸਪਤਾਲ ਪੁੱਜੀ ਹੁੰਦੀ ਤੇ ਹੋਰੇ ਬਾਚੀ ਜਾਂਦੀ ਹਾਂ ਮਰ ਜਾਂਦੀ ਤੇ ਹਸਪਤਾਲ ਮਰ ਜਾਂਦੀ ਨਾ ਤੇ ਦੁੱਖ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੁੰਦਾ even today zainab cries when she remembers the ordeal her young daughter went through during her first pregnancy sadly the young girl has left behind her mother to tell her story there are many more like zainab's daughter who suffer severe labor complications and with no proper antenatal and postnatal care to gauge their labor many die on their way to seek proper medical aid Sialkot is one of Pakistan's most important industrial centers. It houses industries manufacturing surgical goods, sports equipment, and most astonishingly, bagpipes. The goods produced are of excellent quality and are exported worldwide. the exports of sialkot has increased and alhamdulillah today we are uh, uh, touching around uh, 1 billion dollars annually for only for sialkot and that is the only city who is making value added products we don't export uh, um, raw materials this industrial boom has resulted in a division of the society The industrial boom in Sialkot has brought the sharp urban rural divide. The urban area are prosperous and happy. They have a lot of employment opportunity and their per capita income is increasing day by day. But vice versa if you see the rural area they are getting deprived by the basic amenities day by day. They are being neglected in the sector of health, they are neglected in the sector of education. Water and sanitation is a key um, concern over there and the child right. Bajwat a cluster of villages deprived of any basic amenities Besides the numerous problems that the people face the foremost is the lack of medical care ਅਗਰ ਸਾਡੇ ਕੋਈ ਡਿਲੀਵਰੀ ਕੇਸ ਹੋ ਜਾਂਦਾ ਹੈ ਜਾਂ ਕੋਈ ਐਮਰਜੈਂਸੀ ਬਿਮਾਰ ਹੋ ਜਾਂਦਾ ਹੈ ਤੇ ਸਾਡੇ ਵਾਸਤੇ ਤਕਰੀਬਨ ਆਮ ਸਾਡੀਆਂ ਜਿਹੜੀਆਂ ਫੌਤਗੀਆਂ ਨੇ ਉਹ ਤਵੀ ਤੇ ਪਹੁੰਚ ਦੇਣ ਹੋ ਜਾਂਦੀਆਂ ਨੇ ਕਿੰਨੇ ਲੋਕ ਮੇਰੇ ਹੱਥੋਂ ਮੇ ਗਏ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਸਿਰਫ ਮਰੀਜ਼ ਦਾ ਹਸਪੀਟਲ ਸੇ ਜੋ ਲਾਜ ਯਾ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਉਸਕੀ ਜੋ ਰਿਸਪਾਂਸ ਉਸਕੋ ਬੜੇ ਹਸਪਤਾਲ ਮੇ ਮਿਲਣੀ ਹੁੰਦੀ ਹੈ ਜੈਸੇ ਯਾ ਬਲੱਡ ਬੈਂਕ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੈ ਇਹ ਕੇਸ ਕੋ ਬਲੱਡ ਟ੍ਰਾਂਸਫਿਊਜ਼ਨ ਕੀ ਜ਼ਰੂਰਤ ਹੈ ਉਸ ਕੋ ਇਨਵੈਸਟੀਗੇਸ਼ਨ ਕੀ ਜ਼ਰੂਰਤ ਹੈ ਉਹ ਜਾਣ ਨਹੀਂ ਛੋਟੇ ਛੋਟੇ
लेकिन वहाँ जो सहूलत मिलनी चाहिए वो नहीं है वो डॉक्टर बेचारे उसको सियालकोट में ही भेजेंगे लेकिन एम्बुलेंस है लेकिन वो चलेगी कहाँ आगे दरिया है उस पर कोई इंतजाम नहीं है क्योंकि उतने मला रात को नहीं होंगे जाके किश्तियों के टपाने में टाइम लगता है इन देर में जी बीमार आदमी है वो तकरीबन तकरीबन इतने बहुत ज़्यादा ऐसे वाकयात हो जो कि तभी तो असि सू वापस लाने पाते हैं Rivers all around the world are considered a source of life. They provide livelihood and sustain good agriculture. But there is one such river in the district of Sialkot that does not benefit the people who live around it. Tavi's ferocity is unleashed nearly each year when it floods out its banks onto the land of the people. The flood waters sweep away either man or crops that come in its way. Chennai thalo ke na kata hola ka. Badar to chal ke kalyanu. Te rakba vi jude ate pend bhi ten ro de bena kanu ko bhi te gunga. Te onda hai jano te kata hola anda hai. हाँ अपनी मदद तय छोटे छोटे स्पाट जेड़े ने वो बनाने हैं तो सीजन कटने हैं In a total of 87 villages that live near the River Tavi there is a rural health center managed by the provincial government but it's not well equipped to provide adequate antenatal and postnatal care to the women of this area The small clinic provides very limited medical assistance to the population here and there is no hospital for long term illnesses. Sade bachche bimar hai auratan bimar hon kai auratan aisiyan ne ke jehdiyan raste ch vicharyan dam tod jande. Ke hospital di ithe koi koi ithe doctor di sulat maujood nahi. Stagnant water nourishing malaria germs all around the houses is a common feature. Lack of clean water for drinking and sanitation purposes results in waterborne diseases like diarrhea and typhoid. Shade is an NGO which has started community development projects to better the lives of the people of Sialkot. Though in its infancy stage, this organization has implemented the roots of change. Shade is a non-governmental organization which has been providing voice to the voiceless since 1996. We focus mainly on health women emancipation and poverty alleviation Karam who is a volunteer at Shade has had the water samples taken from various wells and houses in the villages and had them tested in laboratories in Islamabad यहाँ पर ऐसा कि हैंड पंप से भी या इवन के इलेक्ट्रिक मोटर से भी पंप ली पंप से पानी लिया जाए वो तकरीबन 100 फीट का भी बोर है उससे भी पानी लिया जाए तो पानी काफ़ी ज़्यादा थोड़ी देर तक तकरीबन 15 से 20 मिनट रखें आप तो ग्लास में भी वो पीला आपको बकायदा जद दिखाई देगा और यहाँ तक कि यहाँ पर हमारे यहाँ लोग अमूमा जो खाने में सफ़ेद चावल इस्तेमाल करते हैं उन चावल को जब बनाते हैं वो बनने के बाद भी वो उसी चूँकि पानी को इस्तेमाल किया जाता है वही पानी हैंड पंप और इलेक्ट्रिक मोटर से लिया जाता है वो जब बॉयल होते हैं और चावल जब तैयार होते हैं वो भी बिल्कुल जर्द नुमा हो जाते हैं उनकी वजह से बहुत ज़्यादा बीमारियां जो है हमारे गांव के लोगों में बच्चों में फैल चुकी हैं द रिजल्ट केम बैक पॉजिटिव फॉर हाई लेवल्स ऑफ केमिकल एजेंट्स प्रेजेंट इन द वॉटर 
making it unfit for human consumption. Uh, major contamination is because of uh, uh, E. coli uh, and coliform, which is bacterial contamination again. Uh, this is because of uh, sewage is not properly taken care of, solid waste is there, hospital waste is there. So all kind of contamination is de there. This starts from very uh, small diseases to big diseases like dysentery, you know, diarrhea, uh, vomiting, these are uh, um, diseases which uh, starts from this water, but then uh, it ends up in cancer, cancer of uh, kidneys and lungs and hepatitis. So really there is a wide range of uh, diseases which are caused by uh, drinking contamination water. A number of awareness campaigns and medical camps are established from time to time to monitor and provide free medical care to the people. Perhaps the biggest contribution to the health sector of the rural and peripheral community of Sialkot is the Kushnud Rizvi Trust Hospital. A 60-bed hospital with round-the-clock emergency service, it will be equipped with state-of-the-art labour rooms, providing world-class antenatal and postnatal care to expectant mothers. The hospital intends to cut down the deaths that occur during complicated labour by providing an adequate delivery service with specialist doctors dealing with each case as a priority. Kushnud Rizvi Hospital is Shade's biggest hope to provide medical care to the deserving and non-affording men and women of the region. The precious land on which the hospital is to be built has already been donated by Professor Pervais A. Rizvi, while the cost for civil work and equipment is being generated by Shay. Zindagi to badi cheez hai. Aap ek poor le na, to wo crore, dead crore mein nahi milti hai aapko. To ye maine jo zameenen vakf ki hain, sirf yahan ke logon ke liye, taake inki zindagi jo hai na, wo bache. माएँ जो हैं मर जाती हैं रास्ते में जाते हुए खुशनूद रिजवी वेलफेयर हॉस्पिटल इज़ अ डायर नीड ऑफ द रूरल कम्युनिटीज ऑफ माय एरिया दिस इज़ माय अपील टू एवरीबॉडी टू कम फॉरवर्ड एंड जॉइन हैंड्स विद अस टू मेक दिस ड्रीम अ रियलिटी Sialkot comprises of 124 union councils of which 92 are rural and 32 urban since the Alcott at the core is an industrial sector, all development projects provided funds are either in the urban areas or revolve around the issues of the industries. 67% of the population lives in the rural area. And since the poverty is multifaceted, like there are issues like education, there is an issue like health and in environment, which has been totally kept out of the um, priority in their developmental fund. If you see the healthcare facilities in the rural area, there are very few BHUs and plus the education facility they have, especially the girls' education, has always been deprived. Poverty can never be alleviated unless men and women both utilize their utmost potential. To enable women to take part in the income of their house, Shade, in collaboration with Pakistan Beit Ulmal, has set up women development vocational centers in rural areas of Sialkot. These centers provide technical training in sewing, cutting machines and materials to make handicrafts to sell. Shagufta, one such learner who took part in the training and today earns enough to support her family. मैंने बहुत अच्छा फील कर रही हूँ कि मुझे कुछ आता है मैंने कुछ सीखा है 
और इससे मैं फ़ायदा भी काफ़ी ज़्यादा हासिल हुआ है मुझे मैं अपने घर में अब सबसे बड़ी हूँ और मेरे वालद अकेले कमाने वाले हैं और माशाल्लाह से अब मैं अपने घर का खर्च खुद अपना खर्च खुद उठा सकती हूँ मैं इस लायक हो गई हूँ कि अब मैं अपना खुद के हराज उठा सकूँ और अपने घर की कुछ मदद कर सकूँ The children playing all day long in the streets is a common sight. Many of them will never go to school and grow up with a bleak future. A sound education is their right, as well as a necessity to drive them out of this poverty. Kawar used to be one among the thousands of children working as child labor in Sialkot. Now he goes to a school established by Shade with the help of Pakistan Beit Ulmal. पढ़ाई करना और स्कूल में आना टीचर हमें पढ़ाते भी हैं ये भी अच्छा लगता है और पढ़ाई करना भी अच्छा लगता है स्कूल में आना भी अच्छा लगता है एक तो बच्चों पैसे मिलते हैं नाल माँ प्यो भी पैसे मिलते हैं बच्चों का भी खर्चा कुछ चल जाता है किताबा फ्री ने बस्ते फ्री ने फिर यूनीफॉर्म वर्दियाँ वगैरह फ्री ने गर्मिया सर्दियाँ के उन्होंने बूट वगैरह जराबा वगैरह देंगे ने इन काफ़ी फायदे ने इस तरह Sialkot, like the rest of Punjab, is mainly agricultural land. Many people here are farmers with the whole family working from dawn to dusk in the fields. The government and civil societies can join hands and enable the residents of the rural society to enhance their lives, resulting in better agriculture and greener fields. Shade also organizes community level meetings where people are educated about the human rights they have over such issues. Awareness about the right over their land, their living conditions, and the rights of women in their daily lives are a few subjects that Shade is focused on. Shade is ever determined to bring a change in the life of the rural masses. and now more than ever we are looking forward to bring the same to million more and to turn this vision into a reality although just begun there is a long way to go however the shades of change have already begun to show the eyes of these young children filled with curiosity and excitement show us that they deserve a better future